Yeah, I just got some bad news about a friend of mine that uh, passed away, a Native American artist friend. He was such a unique, incredible artist, and nobody expected this. I mean, he was so full of life all the time. Ah, I'd known Bahi for over 30 years now. We were members of a uh, artist group that was showing to San Dimas years ago. Ah, it's gonna be hard to concentrate today, but I'll, I will do it. All right, I'll get busy on this clay and uh, The uh, face of this uh, young warrior would uh, be a lot smoother, not uh, showing any kind of age. And I just got to smooth out the face just a bit. And his neck wouldn't uh, be as uh be a little smoother too all right i'm gonna get busy i'm just talking to myself now all right be right back time to play with some clay Okay, I've got uh, the camera right next to my uh, face. So if you hear loud breathing, it's because I'm sitting right on top of the mic. And I can't help it. I kind of make old man sounds anyway. If I get up out of a chair, I go, uh. If I sit down in a chair, I go, uh. If I lift my arm up to work on the, the face, I go, uh. <laughs> it's just uh, what you do. Oh, man. Yeah, Bahi. I, I just think he was probably one of the best Native American artists I've ever known. And I've known a couple. And there's another one that uh, passed away recently who was unique in his artwork. Um, Ma, he just had a way of painting that just was, uh, I think, extremely unique. I'll put a couple of of his uh, paintings up here so you can see what I'm talking about. I met him because I became uh, a member of an artist, an Indian artist, Indian and cowboy artist group called the AICA, the American Indian Cowboy Artists Group. And it was a uh, we had a show once a year in San Dimas, and uh, I sure miss all my friends. The reason I'm doing the face before I do the uh, rest of the uh, body is because the face determines what the body's going to look like, I think. And it, at least that's the way I approach things. And uh,
All right, I took a, a moment out and took a wash rag and uh, dipped it in melted clay because I need to have the skin of the uh, wolf hanging off his back. But uh, that would require a lot of clay. It's going to require a lot of clay just for the fur. But this gives me a makeshift armature. And uh, it works. It's, it's a dangerous thing to do because hot melted clay can really, really, and I must express my warning to you, it can really cause you a lot of pain and suffering if you get it on you. And you got to be real careful to uh, when you do something like this. But that's only because I needed to uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, I've had this idea of having his arm uh, lifting uh, or bringing his uh, uh, wolf skin up and around his uh, body a little bit. And uh, it gave something for this arm to be doing. And I think it adds to the uh, total design. All right, now I'm going to continue working on it. This is his leg of the uh, rear leg of the, the animal. And uh, same here. And I'll lengthen those a little bit. Uh, he's going to have two leg uh, legs tying the uh, skin on. And then I'm just going to do with regular clay all the uh, stuff around his head. All right, I'm going to get busy here and I'll be right back. Well, this space is turning out pretty good. Okay, I'm making the uh, armature for the uh, wolf skin headdress.
This little piece that I'm doing here is the lower jaw skin, and he'd have the tie that would hold the headdress on his head uh, laced through that. And, uh, and then this is the fur as it wraps around his ears. Yeah, this is looking good now. And this is the uh, heavy fur around the neck of the wolf coming down around his face. That's the ear. But I think you can see what I'm thinking of. I gotta figure out whether I wanna do fur texture or leave it rough like this. I kinda like it rough, but then again, I don't know. I'll have to decide that as the time goes on. Uh, I've got a young enough face on him, and I've still got to work on that. And I may have to remove this to, to do that, but I really wanted to see how this is going to look, and I do like the look of it. I think it's going to be a good piece. I think I might bring his arm up. Let me see. I don't think so. Yeah. Was a thought. All right, I'm just really looking at it and trying to get inspired as to what I'm going to do next on it. But I'm going to let it go for now and uh, come back tomorrow, well, Monday. And uh, with fresh eyes. All right, everybody, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.